it's Cars from Gamer Guys and Gals, and we're doing a review for, well, I know I'm going to butcher this, Taya Muari, the complete edition, and that also comes with The Legend of Hamari. They were published by Victory Road LLC, and they were developed by Turnox. Um, we're just going to cover the first game, and then I'll get to the last one uh, later, because it's just a bonus little add-on. From the start, you're able to pick the uh, four levels that you want to play, like the boss battles, and then it'll take you to like a area where you'll battle all of them over again, and then the main bosses. But the level designs are look really, really nice, as you see here. It's got a uh, retro look with a like a modern modern look as well in the back as the backgrounds. There's a lot of abilities to learn, like you can do the double jump, you can do a dash, you can do attack. There's also a lot of uh, magic spells you'll unlock, like there's like beam of light, there's ice, there is, um, what else? There's bombs, there's a bunch more, I think there's around 10 of them. But there's also skills you can get, like one to slow time. Right here's the bomb, I believe, yeah, there's the bomb. There's a one to slow time. There's one to rewind time. There's one to uh, pull up a big shield like to block projectiles. But this game has a lot of really, uh, I wouldn't say challenging, because they're not super challenging, but they can be jumps in it. I like that. It's got, it's got a real level of uh, platforming difficulty to it. It's got some really, really cool looking bosses. Um, it's got three skill levels, like there's an easy, medium, and hard. Um, there's also, uh, there's a god mode cheat. You have to look that up online. It's, uh, it's, it's close to being like the Contra code, though, so if you find something that looks like that, that's probably it. But it's just got so many different type of games, and the animation is really, uh, nice to look at, especially in the cutscenes. Usually I don't like cutscenes where you have to do a lot of reading but these look really nice and then it's got like some shump levels like you see here and it's got collectibles as you'll see on the screen each level has eight and there's an achievement for collecting uh, all eight and they're not that hard to find maybe some are a couple uh, so maybe a couple are hard to find but they're not it's not overly difficult to find them if you if you use a walkthrough like, if you're just looking for achievements, you can probably beat this in about 45 minutes. If uh, you do it on your own, you're going to miss a couple, I'd say. Yeah. So, Achievement Hunters, if you just want a quick, uh, easy thousand, it's only going to take you about... It's going You're going to get that in under an hour. But I recommend really just playing this normal, because it, it's a lot of fun. I, I loved uh, all the different variations of the play like you'll see here now you got like where you're swinging on ropes and dodging spikes it's just got a little bit of everything it's a really unique game I had so much fun with this it. one of my favorite games I've played uh, here recently as far as retro uh, clones this is just uh, something totally different than uh, what you're used to and it's only five dollars you can't beat that that's a uh, you get two games. Like, see here, you got a room where you have to... They have a lot of traps as well. But, uh, for $5, you're not going to beat that. That's a... That's a good price. And for a game... It's, it's only going to play about two hours. If I can see you replaying this game, it, it's really high quality. Retro clone. The enemies look cool. All the uh, characters are... Uh, really great to look at and have good stories behind them the platforming is uh, just stellar it really uh, tests you and uh, you have a blast with it I think you should definitely check it out I'm going to tell you now I gave it a 9 out of 10 I really didn't have any cons with it except for that it was a little short besides that it, it, I just thought it was great it's a uh, I've had a lot of reviews here and it, it's been kind of stale like I'm getting tired of playing some certain types of games and it was really cool to see this I, I it, it, it kind of got me out of that funk so I, I think you're de it's definitely worth playing like look at these cool looking bosses 
this ain't really a boss. There's like uh, secondary bosses on some levels. But they all look really cool and they're all really well designed where you learn, have to learn the patterns. If you loved old uh, SNES and NES games, you're going to really get a kick out of this. It's high quality. Like, look at this boss. You're fighting a big octopus. And the different uh, skills and things that you got, you'll use them all. They're not really, uh, you know, like sometimes you get things that you never use. Like a lot of these you have, you probably have to use to defeat certain areas. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. So I'm going to give it a uh, 9 out of 10. I'm going to highly recommend it to the retro fans. Especially if you like a challenge. This boss right here was really tough to beat for the floor keeps disappearing but uh yeah thanks for the support guys i know times are really tough right now so uh stay healthy stay indoors play some games and uh thanks for watching and as always you know where to find us gamer guys and gals on uh, twitter facebook instagram all the socials and uh and once again thanks thanks for watching and i'll check you guys out Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot about this game mode. Uh, this game mode is the extra mode. You just push A and X to switch which side you want to attack. And then you can also shoot in the air to get the enemies that come down. And uh, there's only two achievements for this. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to say about that. It's fun, but it's, remember, it was an, an extra edition. Catch you later.